Okay, so for this video, what I'm going to show you is how to develop the sides of a cut square-based pyramid. Okay, how to develop the sides of a cut square-based pyramid uh, using the plan and basically unfolding the sides of the plan. So um, obviously the previous video, um, I showed you how to develop it by using the top point of the pyramid as a swivel. But I'm just going to, if you were given this as a problem uh, in an exam and you were given these views, okay, so you've got your elevation, your plan, and your two side views, how would you proceed to develop the sides? So that's the way I'm going to approach this. Um, so again, uh, I'm going to show this uh, using a red pen to indicate the essential points that you have to draw in. Okay, so first of all, on plan, you're going to finish the diagonals here. Okay, so uh, the cut is here. Okay, this is the cut on elevation, cut on end view, and the cut on plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, with a red pen, draw in, it's a broken line, just the diagonals that have been taken away, the top part that has been cut away with the cut. Now, what that establishes here is the top point of the pyramid. Now I could proceed just again uh, to give clarity to it. I can bring that point up to the elevation. So again, I can simply use a pencil first. Okay, so and then just draw it in red pen here okay so that indicates the top of the pyramid here I could then proceed to draw in the sides here so it's really doing it in reverse okay so that is the elevation the broken line indicates the elevation before the cut is imposed on the square based pyramid now what i'm going to do is show how to how you develop the sides just simply using the plan so with this with this point here this center point here the diagonals drawn in here what i can simply do now is i can establish okay the center point here okay which i'm going to unfold using the base here the two base uh, the, the, all four sides of the base as hinge points to unfold the sides so this center point is critical I'm also going to drop it down so that point there drop down now remember when I was talking to you in the last video I said that the true length, this is a true length line, this, this, this here is the equivalent of what would be the common rafter. So I'm going to put that in green again. So as a true length, okay, if I draw this line here, that green line there is the, would be equivalent to a common rafter. And this side here, because I'm looking in at 90 degrees to this green line, this side here now is a true length of this green line. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to take the length of that side there as a true length of that common rafter length. Okay, so again from the top of the pyramid now which I've established by simply bringing up the sides and bringing up the diagonal points. That distance there is a true length, that's a true length of this common rafter here. So what I'm going to do is from because I'm using this side here as a as a swivel point, so this point here is going to be a swivel point. I can simply swing these around here. So that point there, swing it around. Do likewise here. This point here, swing it around. Okay, I'm going to just uh, draw them in as a uh, using French curves just to give clarity to the curves that I've just drawn in. Okay, so I have the sides pulled around using this as a circle point on the bottom, pulled around here, 
this side pulled around onto the XY line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring those points down now to the plan. So again, simply bring this point here now as a vertical down to the plan. And likewise, the other side here, bring it down as a vertical to the plan. Now, where these two points hit what the line I've pulled around, so remember, this is a true length of this green line here. Okay, I've pulled it around using this, so pulled around onto the X, Y line, bring it down, and I'm going to bring this out to meet it. So I'm unfolding, this is a true length, this is a common rafter, and the true length, I'm pulling that around using this line as a swivel. So that gives me this green line here. If I put it in as a green line here, broken line, continue again, cross. That here is a true length of this line here. So I'm going to connect that point back to the corners. Okay, the corner of the wall plates. If it was a roof, so it was a square base pyramid. Now, if you had, uh, by way of hip wrap, this would be a common rafter. These two hip rafters here. This is now is the true length of the hip rafters here. These are two hip rafter developments. Now, I can do the same on the other side here. Where I've pulled that around, bring it down, and then connect it up. And again, that there is a true shape of this full surface here before the coat was imposed, okay? And I can do the same on the bottom one here. So again, I've brought this down, okay? Again, using my compass now, instead of, obviously I've got this points here, I can go to the top of the pyramid point and simply establish the length now from here here and swing that all the way around. Now again I can indicate that with uh, a green line here and again using the French curve. Okay so again once I have this point now established onto this vertical line I simply bring that point now back to the two corners. Okay, now that shows me a development of this side here before the coat was imposed. I can do likewise onto the other side. Now the other side, because of the position of it, okay, it's going to impose itself onto the elevation. But I don't mind that, I'm simply just going to draw it in a different color. So again, I simply bring this point up from here, from the center point, bring it around. Now, again, I'm going to show that as a green line using the French curve. And again, I can bring this down to meet it here. Two corners. Okay, now that shows that green line here, this green triangle, shows the development of this side here before it was cut. So, the next part is I've basically unfolded the full sides of the uh, square base pyramid before the cut was imposed. Now, I've got the cut here on plan, okay, and the correlating sides here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to bring the points of the cut down to the sides. So when you, con when you consider it, okay, uh, this line here, this line here, 
is this line traveling up to the top of the pyramid. This line here is this line here traveling up to the top of the pyramid. Likewise with all the sides, okay? So all that I'm simply going to do is drop down the cut to where it intersects with each side. Okay, so again, what I'll do is I'll use a, a green marker again for showing this. Actually, I'll use a red, I'll use a red. So, point of the cut here, point of the cut here, top as well. So, there, and there. And then the sides, the horizontal. This point here, point here. Now you notice that because this is running parallel with the sides here, it's 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 vertical. This cut on the, uh, the the imposition of the cut here on these sides, the valve will also be vertical. join those points again I will use a green pen for this okay so you'll notice that this here is vertical this here is a vertical now from this point here, this point here, and this point here, this point here. So what I'm looking to do is I'm, I'm looking to draw in the development of the cut sides as a different color. So I'm going to use blue, yeah, the color blue, just to draw in the cut surface, uh, cut, cut sides developed, okay? And I will shade them in afterwards. So now what we have here is a development of the cut sides. Now I'll just draw in the base as well, just to distinguish it from the plan. shade it in. I'm going to shade in using a black uh, 
colored pencil. So, we have now a development of the cut sides of the square base uh, cut pyramid. Okay, I hope you found that uh, video useful. Thank you.